Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a couple of weeks and I didn't want to fall into the habit again of not filming anything, which tends to happen with me. I go through phases of filming like every week and then I just give up. <laughs> um, so I just thought I'd come on and just do an average kind of daily, weekly vlog style video, I guess. I really was hoping to get a couple more episodes of the At Home With series up, which I'm still working on. Um, I've just had a couple of issues with scheduling and illness and whatever else going on but they will be coming I think there's two more episodes I want to film they should be coming very soon I shall keep you posted I'm also actually going to do a new full house plant tour and a house tour because I realized the other day that we've been in this house nearly three years this summer and I have never actually done a full tour. I know when we first moved in here, I was thinking, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do a new tour and show everything, but it took so long to get everything how I wanted it that by that time it just almost felt like there's no point. <laughs> So what I'm going to do as part of the At Home With series is I'm going to turn the camera on me and I'm going to get Andy to film it and I'm going to be one of the people featured on the At Home With series. So that should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I've never done a full house tour, even though you've probably seen most of my house in the videos and Instagram and stuff like that anyway. We've also done a bit of decorating lately. Not too much, but we wanted to brighten our bedroom up a little bit for spring and summer this year and we've we never sort of added any color to this place we just wanted white walls and everything really minimal and basic but I think after doing that series it's made me want to just add some little touches not nothing too crazy because I do love my minimal space it keeps me very calm and I don't know, it just makes me feel stress-free. But more on that to come when I do my my own episode of At Home With. In case you didn't notice, I'm also going progressively more blonde as well. <laughs> um, it's just happened sort of gradually, but I'm really happy with it. It still needs a bit of work because where I used to have colour on my hair, it's not quite as blonde as it is that they've done on fresh hair. So... I think a couple more goes and it will be exactly where I want it to be. So yeah, today is just an average day in the Kirby household. Um, we've got some work to do this morning. I think we're gonna pop over to Chelmsford this afternoon. We both have been really craving a yo sushi. So I think we're gonna go there for lunch. And I also wanna try and get myself like a faux leather jacket from somewhere. And then tonight I've got a meeting that I've got to go to. So it's gonna be quite a busy day. But yeah, I just wanted to show you a few bits and pieces that I've been liking lately. It's gonna be just kind of one of those random sort of videos. And I've also got a package and kind of a follow up to my plastic free period video, which I'll link below if you haven't seen it. So I'm just gonna sit down for this. I'm actually, drinking um, a Barocca. If like me you struggle with mornings then I would really recommend this. It's got so many vitamins in it and I think it's supposed to give you energy and stuff and I do a course at college on Thursday evenings and I've been really struggling with getting my energy levels up for that in the evening because my evenings I'm usually in my pyjamas by eight o'clock and thinking about going to bed so that's been quite challenging. So I've been drinking this on Thursday evenings and also not every morning but I guess if I'm just feeling a bit crazy when I wake up I'll get on this it's not the best tasting but I would definitely recommend it if you do feel a bit naff in the mornings and it takes you a little while to get going so I was sent some of these faux mink lashes from Ardell recently these were gifted to me and I'm just waiting for an event to wear them they look really lovely and they look like they've got a pretty sticky yeah it says Invisiband oh yeah I can see it so I hate the glue like I've never been into the glue thing I tried magnetic lashes recently again I'll link the video below if you didn't see that and they were really good I really like them I would definitely buy them again they lasted me a few occasions as well so I got good use out of them I think they were Ardell as well but yeah they sent me some of these faux mink ones to try out I'm gonna Instagram them um once I do wear them so if you're not following me on Instagram make sure you head over there if you didn't know as well I've also got a new Instagram account which I'm really loving posting on at the moment it's a uh, interiors account and I really love posting on there it's really funny because I've only got about 450 followers on there but the engagement and I don't know it just all seems really good and I really enjoy posting interiors just like purely interior stuff and I just find it really satisfying going on my interiors account and just seeing 
all interior pictures so I'm really enjoying posting over there go and give me a follow it's at my modern bungalow a random one but one I wanted to share because I've actually been loving them are these scrunchies I picked these up I'm pretty sure it was H&M because my hair's been breaking a bit because I wear quite sometimes if I wear my hair up I wear quite tight elastics and I thought I needed something just a little bit more softer so I picked up these scrunchies and I've never really been a scrunchy person not since I was probably in primary school I know they've made a bit of a comeback lately but I've not really jumped on that bandwagon but I thought I'd pick these up just so when I'm at home and I have my hair up these are really nice they're really soft and I love the pattern as well like if you did want to go out in these and dress them up a bit they'd look really good so another thing I just want to share quickly is this SPF 50 moisturizing sun lotion from Superdrug the Soleil range I have been using this believe it or not <laughs> as a daily moisturizer. So once I get out of the shower, I will put this on my face. It's very moisturizing. I've, the main reason I'm using it is because of the high SPF. Now, I used to be a sun worshiper and I have developed in my 30s sunspots. You can't see them as much now, but that is my biggest one there. And they tend to come up where you wear sunglasses. So some of you might have them as well. I've got them over this side as well, but I think the makeup is kind of doing a good job at covering them up at the moment. Um, I get a couple round here as well. Towards the end of last year, I made a decision to go for IPL laser treatment to help remove these pigmentation spots. So since I've been investing in that, it is fairly expensive. It's almost like a hundred pounds a session. I've only, how many have I had so far? I think I've had two so far and I'll be having another one in a couple of weeks. So since I've been having that, I've been really conscious about making sure that my skin on my face is really protected from the sun. So I've been using this and you know what? It wasn't that expensive. It's super drug owned brand. It's cruelty free, suitable for vegans as well. Works really lovely as a daily face moisturizer and perfect for like wearing underneath your foundation if your foundation hasn't got SPF in it. I would never normally wear SPF 50. I probably should, but I am a bit of a sun worshiper and I do tan quite easily. I'm not really someone to burn very easily. So I would never normally wear a 50, but I don't know. I think since I'm steamrolling towards 40, I've still got a few years yet, but I think I just really want to take care of the skin on my face, especially in here. I know this is a spot for people, especially when they get into their late thirties, forties upwards, this bit here, because you don't, it's exposed to the sun a lot, especially like if you wear V-necks like this, this bit here tends to get a lot of pigmentation and you might see on, some women particularly that this bit is one of the first bits to start to wrinkle i know as well my mum gets pigment spots on her hands because again your hands are exposed a lot to sunlight and you probably wouldn't think to put spf on them as i'm talking i'm gonna put some of this on my hands now yeah i guess i'm just thinking about later on really um and not wanting to be faced with having loads of pigment spots all over me and yeah i want to preserve the IPL lasers that I've had so far have been really good. This has actually reduced down quite a lot, but I think it's gonna need about two more goes to completely go. So they tend to say it's between one and four sessions, depending on how bad they are. But I am actually doing a whole video about that. It's like a video diary from the first time I had it done and it's gonna be up until the end and it, I'm gonna be showing like real before and after. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, that will be coming probably within the next couple of months at some point. I've got a snoring dog on the bed, but yeah, I would really recommend this and look how nice it blends in as well. I always thought factor 50 would almost be like putting clay on your face and that it would just make your skin look really pale and white, but it doesn't. I'll just demonstrate on my neck area because I haven't actually put any on my neck area today but it I mean it is a bit thicker than say I would normally wear factor 25 or 30 but look it just rubs in really nice it doesn't leave that sort of chalky white pasty look that sometimes you see on kids that are wearing like factor 50 um so yeah I would really recommend this this was definitely under a fiver in super drug so if you want to start making sure that you don't get pigment spots like i've got then i would definitely recommend using that moving on i received an exciting package this week <laughs> just getting it right now so some of you may remember the plastic free period video that i did a few months ago now 
and I can hands down say that was one of the best decisions I have made is to go plastic free with my period. So that means no tampons, no throwaway pads. Um, I purchased some reusable pads basically. And yeah, they've been working really well for me. I've been really surprised at how I've not been tempted to go back to any of the old products at all. Doing the plastic free period has been so easy because you don't really need to remember anything. Once you've got the products in your house, then you're set to go. I found it super easy and I almost feel like looking back now, it's crazy to think how much waste I was creating from one period. So on from that, the reusable pads that I bought have been working really well for me. The only thing I will say about them is that they have felt a little bit bulky, um, especially the larger one. On the lighter days, like for me, everyone's different, but on the first day is usually the worst day for me. I'm super heavy and there can be some leakage problems, let's just say. Um, but then after the first day, it really slows down and it's kind of medium and then really light for a few days. One of the things that I thought of doing was buying more like panty liner reusable pads but I then remembered period pants. I remember people talking about period pants from a few years ago at a time when all of that stuff was a little bit alien to me and I was a little bit scared to experiment with it all. I don't know why. It suddenly struck me a couple of weeks ago. I thought, oh, period pants would actually be probably so much better than buying more pads because I think, especially for lighter days, that's kind of what you sort of want or what you sort of need. So, so I put a little thing on Instagram and said, can anyone recommend any period pant companies? And one of the ones that got mentioned a lot was Wooker. <laughs> so I reached out to Wooker. I told them that I really want to try period pants and that I want to do it as like a follow on to my plastic free period and share with my audience and stuff. So they kindly sent me a couple of pairs of their period pants. So this is what they look like. They're really soft and stretchy. And inside, I don't know how well it's gonna come out on the screen. I will be putting this all over my Instagram as well, but inside it's basically got from there to there has a sewn in, I guess, I, I guess yeah, like a sewn in panty liner. So yeah, I'm giving these a try this week. I've actually got a pair on right now. <laughs> and one of the things I was really happy about was that they're really stretchy. You can see the stretch. They're really soft and comfortable. This is so soft, this bit here. What is it made out of? 95% uh, micromodal, 5% elastine. It has got these sort of meshy sides. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, so like the sides are more like mesh, see-through. But yeah, I popped a pair on this morning because now I'm sort of midway, I guess, through my period and they feel great. They feel really comfortable. I would say they're very true to size as well. So, and because they have got a bit of extra stretching as well, you'll be fine ordering your regular size and they do come in sizes as well, which I'm really happy about. They're not just like small, medium, large or whatever. They do actually come in specific sizes. So I am trial running these this week and yeah, I'm already, I've only had them on like this morning and already I feel really happy about them. They definitely feel a lot more lightweight than the pads I've been using. So I think these are gonna be absolutely ideal for my lighter days. They do do different levels as well. So they do ones for like heavy, um, medium and light flows. So you can tailor them to your needs, but this is perfect for the lighter medium days, I guess. So yeah, really happy, very comfortable. Um, they also sent me one of their magical water bottles, which I've never had a water bottle this big before. I absolutely love this. And it basically, you can tie it round. My cat is just coming because she's attracted to these bits. So yeah, it's basically for like your middle and if you're struggling a bit with period pain or just feeling a bit naff, you can put this round your middle. So I'm also gonna be giving that a little run through tonight. I can't believe you're trying to get into this box. I need to try and show you what is happening right now. The cat. <laughs> oh my God, Naboo. She's trying to get in this tiny box. You're not gonna fit in there. So if you're wondering what Wooker stands for, it stands for wake up, kick ass, 
because the founder believes that nothing should hold you back when you're on your period. Uh, these pants, I'm just reading the little card they sent me. Um, these pants have also won a couple of awards. Good Brand Award from Sublime Magazine and they're a sustainability winner. They're certified vegan, cruelty free, no fragrances, paraben free, naturally antibacterial. You simply wash them at 40 degrees and line dry. And yeah, I've also got a little discount code on here. If you want temp, if you want to go and purchase a pair for yourself and would like 10% off, use this code, kickass10, and you will get 10% off your order. But also, excitingly, a Wooka are going to host a giveaway with me, which will have gone live by the time this video is up. So head over to my Instagram now. I'm giving two people a pair of pants each. Wooka have kindly agreed to give two people a pair of their pants each. So head over to my Instagram, make sure you enter. All the rules and everything will be on there. You've got to be in the UK to enter. I'm going to leave it open for a few days. So you've got a bit of time to get over there and enter that. And yeah, one of these amazing pairs of period pants will be winging their way over to you and because the first today's the first day that i'm wearing them i'm gonna update as the day goes on um and see how i get on with them so we've just had storm kiara i'm gonna say kiara i've heard people saying sierra cara i don't know i'm saying kiara i think today or later we've got storm dennis coming so yeah, but today's actually really sunny and nice. You can see here, I bought myself a pussy willow tree recently. Chickens are doing good over there at the moment. I'm definitely going to be doing a chicken video, I promise, <laughs> once the weather has improved and I can actually spend some decent time in the garden. I feel like the weather's just been mental. We had so much rain and then we've had these storms and it's just not been good timing, but the chickens are good. I do post regular updates about them on my Instagram page and I'm gonna be doing an update video very, very soon. Talking of all things eco-friendly, I've also started on my refill journey. Um, I picked up this hand soap. It's by The Fill Company. Refilling is gonna be more of a journey for me. I think it's gonna take longer. I've got a couple of places fairly near to me that do stock these fill products. So I'm starting with hand soap. I'm gonna make a commitment to do the hand soap and then I'm gonna try out some of their other products, maybe buy a bottle, a new bottle each month to spread it out a bit and then get try and get myself into a routine of going to refill all my products. It would be so amazing if supermarkets could just have this <laughs> in them. It would just be so convenient like I feel like if little shops can do it surely supermarkets can do it but yeah I'm doing my best I'm not perfect but I'm doing my best and I'm conscious which is I think one of the main things when it comes to being more eco-friendly like with the periods like that's a change I can definitely make that's something that I can do to make a positive impact and I'm gonna start trying to refill as well Andy keeps trying to scare me about coronavirus, don't you? Oh, I'm not just trying to scare you, I'm just <laughs> stating the facts. Just gotta be prepared. Mm. <laughs> I think it's really confusing because some people are saying it's just like flu and that more people die of regular flu. But on the other hand, then we've been watching some of these really scary videos in China where they've been like forcibly removing people from their homes to like put them into quarantine and stuff. And it's just seems really scary. It seems like something out of a horror movie. A little bit worrying, but I, I don't think I'd feel too good if we were traveling at the moment. Um, no. I'm, I'm a bit of a germ, germaphobe. <laughs> Is that what they're called? Anyway, I'm someone that always kind of carries anti-back wipes on me and stuff like that. So I am someone that would naturally be a little bit more anxious about coronavirus maybe than the next person. But I think, I think in Essex, we're relatively safe at the moment. I think you just gotta be careful. Just make sure you wash your hands lots.
Right, we're just back from Chelmsford. Um, quite a successful little trip over there. I also got a faux leather jacket, which was something that was actually on my shopping list for today. And I was lucky in New Look, actually. I found one in there for like 35 pounds. So really happy with that. It's super soft and lightweight. So perfect for like spring and summer evenings. I was gonna show you it, but I think Andy's taken the bag. We also had a really nice, yummy Yo Sushi. I'd actually forgotten that it's Green Wednesday so if you didn't know on Wednesdays in Yo Sushi you can get up to 40% off of all veggie vegan dishes so that was really good we absolutely love Yo Sushi and it always amazes me when I speak to people who don't who are vegetarian or vegan who don't eat meat who are always really surprised by the fact that it's not just fish and raw meat in there because I honestly think Yo Sushi has one of the best vegan friendly menus out of all the high street kind of chain restaurant places so they're really good and it's a lot of other stuff other than sushi as well like i had noodles i had a pumpkin katsu thing i do a really nice cauliflower dish there's just so much choice and it's amazing and i also like it because it's one of those places that you could easily eat in there on your own and not feel awkward about eating in there on your own so today was also the first time that i tried the Wooker period pants out and about. Yeah, I'm really happy with them. They're really comfortable, so lightweight. That's the one thing that I really noticed and really liked about them is that they are really lightweight and you don't really, you don't feel like you're wearing a pad. It's way more comfortable than wearing a tampon. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for me so far. The only thing I was slightly conscious of is because I've got slightly clingy trousers on. I feel like you could have seen a knicker line, pant line through these trousers anyway, but the seam that runs across the back of like the padded bit I felt I don't know to me it felt like it was visible but when I looked in a mirror in the shop I couldn't I could kind of see it but it wasn't too bad but it's just one of those things like be a little bit conscious of depending on what trousers I was wearing nine times out of ten I always like to wear things that are quite loose and tops that sort of cover my bum anyway so it's not really a problem but yeah just something to bear in mind I think that is pretty much it time to go in and I'll show you my new jacket as well once I get inside Bappy what's this <gasps> Look how excited he is. What's this, Bappy? You think you've got a new pig? Zen, what's this? Oh my god. He loves it. Ready? Go! Oh, that is a hit, isn't it? That was sick in about 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh my god, he really loves it. <laughs> These are some of our other pigs. That's a new Ikea one. That's a really old Ikea one. I think this one's a Pets at Home one. So this is the leather jacket I got, faux leather. And this was 35 99 And it's just very nice and lightweight. This is what it looks like on. I probably wouldn't wear it done up. It's quite short. It's like a almost like a cropped one, I'd say. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. So these pants last up to eight hours on quite a low flow. So I will probably change into this other pair before I go out this evening. To share with you my favorite find of this year so far these proper chips oh my god they are insane the sriracha spicy sriracha ones are mind-blowingly good the barbecue ones are also really good and i can't believe i've only just discovered them it says new on them but i think they've been out since last year but we are hooked and they're only 94 calories a pack so nice definitely get them i picked them up on a cardo i'm not sure where else he's selling them at the moment 
Are you eating my plants? So it's the next day now, and I think I'm on day three or four of my period. I can't sit down without this one wanting to be on my lap. Yeah, so I think I'm on day three or four of my period. And so yesterday was the first day, full day of wearing the wooker pants. And it was just such a breeze. I really, really liked them. They were really comfortable. They worked really well. I had no leakage or anything like that. And today is my second day of wearing them. And I was feeling a little bit cocky yesterday thinking, I actually don't tend to suffer from actual period cramps that much. Like I don't tend to get really bad stomach aches or anything. And then blow me down, <laughs> this morning I woke up and I've got a really horrible stomach ache. I'd say that the most pain that I usually get with periods is normally like headache related. I tend to get like a really horrible sort of sicky headache when I'm about to come on my period. And sometimes like the first day or whatever but I don't, I'm not someone that really, really struggles with crippling cramps or anything like that, but I have got a stomach ache today. So it is actually the perfect day to try out the wonderful hot water bottle. This, I've got it on now, and it is so comforting. I can't, I can't get my head around it. It just feels so good. I also struggle a bit with lower back pain anyway, like regardless of, when I'm on my period. Um, so I think this just sitting here at my desk just feels amazing on. I'm not sure how, I think I might have overfilled the bottle a little bit because it didn't leave me much um, rope to tie it up with. So I think next time I use it, I'll put less hot water in there and then hopefully it will fit around my middle a bit better. But yeah, this is like heavenly. It just feels so comforting. It's unreal. So anyway, that is it for this video. Don't forget to go over and check out the Instagram giveaway I'm doing with Wooka. Um, sorry, it's been a kind of all over the place, jumbled up mixture of here's lots of things I've liked lately. But um, yeah, I just felt like I wanted to update on a few things and let you know how it's going with my plastic free period and little changes that I'm trying to make to be more eco-friendly this year. Let me know in the comments below what you're doing to make little changes. And I think I think that's the thing actually. I think when it comes to things like this, if, if everyone's making small changes and just doing their best, that's way better. That's gonna have a much bigger impact than people just not bothering. It may feel like what difference is it gonna make if I just switch to re using reusable products and stuff like that. But I think when everyone starts to make these little changes, that's when big things happen. I'll leave the links to everything I've mentioned down below so you can go and check them out. I'll also leave a link to my Instagram giveaway, um, but please bear in mind that if you're watching this after February 2020, that giveaway would have come and gone by now. But there's also a discount code if you fancy buying these period pants or hot water bottle as well. And that is it from me. And I will be back with another video very soon. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.